course, the golden run continues for our seven teams, this time at the Youth Olympics, courtesy of the baby black ferns in Buenos Aires. But they had to claw back against the spirited French side, eventually winning 15-12. Chris Chang has the action. Three months after witnessing the men's and women's side secure World Sevens titles, the baby black ferns have written their own achievements onto New Zealand rugby's glittering CV. Another gold medal to add to the heaving Kiwi mantle. Okay, nice, the under-18s formed a chain as they took to the field, sending a message to the French. We're unbreakable, we have a wall of black, and it's just a way of keeping to connection and composure all at the same time. Three on each side locking into that scrum. Montessa Tida Kenner opening the scoring with her eighth try of the games. Controlling the touchline, and well, she has the technique and skill, and importantly, the pace to get over the line. Yeratana Hohaya gave New Zealand a 10 point buffer before France responded on the stroke of half time. France are back in the match, they're back in the game, they're back in the final. Then back in contention for a gold as the Europeans snatched a second half lead. Now it's up and up. But with three minutes to play, the baby black ferns broke the line, then French hearts. Be better chance of that if they can get the ball wide. Mahina Paul, now he's over. Their Ooh. oldest seven sisters leading the celebrations. Those older girls, the black ferns who are in Colorado at the moment, they're just an absolute inspiration to all of us. We look up to them and they support us so much. We've had amazing messages from all of them. Um, back in black all the way, baby. It's the first time New Zealand's had a sevens team at the Youth Olympics. Wow. And with an unbeaten run in Buenos Aires, racking up 169 points, the next golden generations proving the future of the sport is in good hands. Chris Chang, One News. And the Maori